Intuition would be it's going to be quite the opposite, where it seems much worse for the math people than the word people. Um, and what you know, what people have told me is that uh, um, you know, they, they think within three to five years, um, the AI models will be able to solve all the um, U.S. math Olympiad problems, and um, and uh, that would you know that would um, that would shift things uh, things quite a bit. Um, there, there's sort of a longer history I always have on the math versus verbal uh, riff, where if you ask when did um, ma- when did our society bias to uh, testing people more for ver- a math ability, I believe it was during the French Revolution because it was believed that. Uh, verbal ability ran in families. Um, math ability was sort of distributed um, in the sort of idiot savant way throughout the population. And so, if we um, if we prioritized uh, math ability, um, it had sort of this meritocratic but also egalitarian uh, effect on society. Um, and then I, I think by the time you get to the Soviet Union and Soviet communism in the 20th century, where you give um, you know a, um, a number theorist or chess grandmaster a medal. Which I, it was always a part I was somewhat sympathetic to in the in the uh, Soviet Union. Um, 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 you, um, it, maybe it's actually just sort of a control mechanism where the math people are singularly clueless. They don't understand anything. But if we um, put them on a pedestal and we tell everyone else you need to be like the math person, then um, it's actually a way to sort of control, or that the chess grandmaster doesn't understand anything about the world. Um, that's a way to to really control things. And if I sort of fast forwarded to, let's say, Silicon Valley in the early 21st century. It's way too biased towards the math people. I don't know if it's a French Revolution thing or a Russian uh, sort of um, Straussian uh, secret cabal control thing where you have to prioritize it. But uh, but that's that's the thing that seems deeply unstable, and uh, that's what I would bet on on getting reversed where, you know, it's like, isn't it like... um, like and the, the the place where math ability, like you know, um, you know, it's it's sort of it's the thing that's the test for everything, right? It's like if you want to go to medical school, okay, we weed people out through uh, physics and calculus, and like I'm not sure that's really correlated with your, you know, I don't know your dexterity as a neurosurgeon. I don't really want someone operating on my brain to be, you know, doing prime number factorizations in their head while they're <laughs> operating on my brain or something like that, and so. Um, you know, I, 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 when, you know, in, in the late 80s, early 90s, I, I had a sort of a chess bias because I was a pretty good chess player. And so my chess bias was you should just test everyone on chess ability. And that should be the gating factor. Why, why even do math? Why not just chess? And that got undermined by, uh, by the computers in 1997. And, um, and isn't that what's going to happen to math? And isn't that a long overdue rebalancing of our society? And how is math?